in a world driven by technology where innovation shapes economies and the pace of progress never slows, the demand for critical resources has never been higher. The race for resources is more critical than ever. Nations compete fiercely to secure the minerals and metals that fuel our modern lives. From the devices in our pockets to the infrastructure powering entire cities. The elements powering our smartphones, electric cars and defense systems have long been controlled by a single dominant player. Until now. For decades, China has held a near monopoly over the supply of these rare earth elements, shaping global markets and influencing international relations. Deep within the Philippines, a discovery is set to transform the nation and disrupt the global balance of power. This archipelago, known for its natural beauty and rich biodiversity, now finds itself at the center of a new technological revolution. Beneath its volcanic soil lies a treasure trove of rare earth elements, 17 metals essential for everything from wind turbines to fighter jets. These elements are the unsung heroes of the digital age, making possible the advancements we often take for granted. For years, these materials quietly left the country, mixed with other mineral exports and shipped to China, their true value overlooked. The world remained largely unaware of the Philippines' hidden wealth, as its resources fueled industries far beyond its shores. Now, the Philippine government is awakening to its immense potential, facing both opportunity and challenge. Leaders must navigate complex international interests, environmental concerns, and the hopes of a nation eager for progress. This is more than a mining story. It's about a nation's destiny and the future of global technology. The choices made today will echo for generations, shaping the Philippines' role on the world stage. Tonight, we explore the science, the geopolitics, and the stakes for the Philippines and the world. The eyes of the globe are turning to this island nation, watching as it steps into a new era. The story begins with a geological mystery, millions of years in the making, setting the stage for a dramatic shift in the world's technological future. To truly understand the Philippines' rare earth riches, we need to look far beneath the surface and deep into the past. Our journey takes us back millions of years to a time when the earth's crust was in constant motion, shaping the land we know today. In 2023, geologists made a groundbreaking discovery the lost Pontus Plate, a massive tectonic plate that once existed beneath this region, vanished beneath the surface around 20 million years ago. As the Pontus Plate subducted beneath Borneo, the South China Sea, and Palawan, it triggered intense geological processes, melting rock, shifting land, and creating the perfect environment for rare earth minerals to form and concentrate. The Philippines' complex geology born from this violent, dynamic history, explains why its mountains and valleys are so rich in valuable mineral deposits, including rare earth elements. Using advanced seismic imaging and detailed rock analysis, scientists were able to trace the Pontus Plate's ghostly presence, finally solving a long-standing scientific mystery that puzzled experts for decades. This backstory isn't just academic. It's the very foundation of the Philippines' rare earth potential, revealing why these minerals are found here and not elsewhere. The same powerful forces that shape the islands, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and the relentless movement of tectonic plates also concentrated these critical resources deep within the earth. The treasures we seek today were forged in ancient cataclysms, hidden for millions of years, and are now waiting to be discovered by a new generation of explorers and scientists. The Pontus Plate set the stage for a geological story millions of years in the making, shaping the land and laying the foundation for the Philippines' unique mineral wealth. But it was only through the dedication and innovation of modern science that we began to truly uncover the details hidden beneath the surface. Details that would change our understanding of the archipelago's potential. In 2022, a groundbreaking study mapped rare earth concentrations across the Philippines, revealing significant bauxite reserves in Samar, an island now recognized as a key player in the country's mineral landscape. The research also identified placer deposits in Palawan, 
with concentrations of rare earth elements that rival some of the world's most productive sources, putting the Philippines on the global map for critical minerals. Ion adsorption clays in El Nido, Palawan, were found to match the quality of China's world-leading deposits, making them especially valuable for high-tech industries and clean energy applications. Even more exciting, scandium, a rare metal prized for its use in aerospace and advanced manufacturing, was discovered in nickel laterite deposits, opening up new economic opportunities for the nation. While not all mineral deposits are easy to process, the presence of bauxites, clays, and laterites offers promising prospects for immediate development and future growth. These findings provide a comprehensive, data-driven roadmap for responsible resource development, ensuring that science guides every step towards sustainable progress. With this new knowledge, the Philippines now understands where its greatest opportunities lie and what must be done to responsibly seize them for the benefit of all. The next step is clear, transforming scientific promise into national progress and ensuring that the country's mineral riches help build a brighter, more sustainable future for generations to come. As of October 2025, the Philippines faces a pivotal choice. For years, rare earths left the country hidden in nickel ore, with China reaping the benefits. Now, the government is reassessing mining policies and export controls, realizing the scale of its opportunity. Ion adsorption clays in Palawan are especially strategic, one of the few alternatives to China's supply. The U.S. has stepped in, offering investment and technology to help the Philippines build its own processing industry. But challenges loom high electricity costs, strict environmental laws, and social tensions over mining. The government must balance economic opportunity with sustainability and social responsibility. The decisions made now will shape the nation's future. The Philippines' rare earths have thrust it into a global power struggle. China refines 90% of the world's rare earths, wielding immense influence over global tech and defense. The U.S. sees the Philippines as a chance to break China's monopoly, offering partnership and investment. China, in turn, may use economic leverage or diplomatic pressure to maintain its advantage. The Philippines now holds unprecedented leverage, but also faces immense pressure from both sides. Aligning too closely with one superpower risks retaliation from the other. The nation must navigate this high-stakes game with skill, balancing alliances and economic interests. Its choices could tip the global balance of power. Rare earth mining could bring billions in revenue and thousands of jobs to the Philippines. By investing in domestic processing, the country could capture far more value than by exporting raw ore. But mining carries serious environmental risks, especially in a nation rich in biodiversity and fragile ecosystems. Rare earth extraction can produce toxic waste, threatening communities and nature if not strictly managed. The government faces a tough task, balancing robust environmental protection with efficient project development. Learning from China's mistakes, the Philippines must pursue sustainable mining, combining economic growth with environmental stewardship. The goal, world-class standards, shared benefits, and a future that's both prosperous and green. The stakes couldn't be higher. For communities in Samar and Palawan, rare earth mining brings hope and anxiety. New jobs and investment could transform lives, but past mining has left scars of broken promises and environmental harm. Indigenous peoples, legal stewards of much of the land, demand a say in any development. The principle of free, prior and informed consent gives them the right to approve or reject projects on their ancestral lands. Through progress means respecting human rights, protecting cultures, and ensuring local communities share in the benefits. The real test, can the Philippines lift up its people while tapping its hidden wealth? Experts agree. The Philippines must add value at home, not just export raw materials. Building domestic processing and refining is key to sustainable, sovereign growth. Science-based, transparent environmental and social assessments are essential before any project moves forward. Economists warn of the resource curse, 
and urged the creation of a sovereign wealth fund to invest mining revenues in education and infrastructure. Diplomatically, the Philippines should leverage U.S. and Chinese interests to secure the best terms for investment and technology. A robust legal framework will attract responsible investors and keep the national interest front and center. The path forward demands vision, discipline, and unity. The Philippines stands at the crossroads, holding a geological jackpot that could transform its future. But great wealth brings great responsibility, and the risks of environmental disaster, social conflict, and geopolitical tension are real. The nation must decide, will it build a value-adding industry, protect its environment, and empower its people? Or will it repeat the mistakes of the past, exporting raw wealth and sacrificing its heritage? The world is watching, hoping the Philippines can set a new standard for sustainable, just development. The choices made today will echo for generations. The future is unwritten, and it starts now.